Hey you everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing new game. The console it is. It uh, recently came out like yesterday uh, at the moment I'm recording it and uh, yeah that's the game choice based kind of similar to The Walking Dead if you played it. Uh, you need to make choices and that will be like critical for how the game ends. Basically it depends on you. So let's just go straight into gameplay. France it is. Paris. December 10th. Mm, 100, seven, 1792. Yes. Ouch. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Hmm. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> I hope they do. By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. So it is our mother. There are more right. persuasive ways of making you talk. What's that? You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. It's poison? Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Lord Just Mortimer. tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Mm. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. <laughs> Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few uh, more minutes is it a and hidden my message? will be ready. <laughs> With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. What? Oh, so it is like... You'll see. Kind of poison of today. Comes in no time. Fuck. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. Shit, this game is lagging. What the fuck is going on? I got it. I've opened the shackles. Do it, I'll take care of it. Mm. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm. Wait, this is... This is unplayable. Listen. Let's make a deal. It I'll tell you where itself. the book is. If you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? I must do this. Trust me. Oh, so, oh shit! The first choice. Uh, trust her. I mean, mm, I'm a man. I'm a grown man. I know what to do, right? I can do it myself. Oh, oh shit! Not fair. Scared. Got a scar. Oh, you see? Easy. For God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. Well, I'm fine. Let me scars see. scars only you make know, us. I was in control of the situation, mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. <gasps> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, mother. You know? Can't you be happy for once? I finally we finally cracked the Von Borchard case. He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. 
Well, you are much more important than you can ever imagine. Why right. though? Let's go now. We've got a beautiful scar across our face. Gonna give us the lades, you know. One month later, January 20th, 1793. Alright. Lord Mordmeister's Island with the Cove Fame. That's a beautiful house. Reminds me of uh, how how is it called? Hogwarts, exactly. Looked almost the same. Some towers. Well done, mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. <laughs> true, true. Episode 1, The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain oh, to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. I guess we wouldn't have well, it sure if we choose the other again, option. Slogging Let's through go. the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is okay. think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Oh, what brings us here? I don't know. Um, business with Lord Mormaster. Personal reason. Well, your eminence, with all due respect, personal. I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Um, turn that question back to the Duchess. Uh, I, I don't want to tell him anything. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Well? Are you alright? Are we alright? I don't know. Well, ah. I don't know. What is going on, though? Mother? What? Oh shit, your hand! So? 
Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No what one's going to hell? find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Wait, what is going on? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. What the hell is going no. on? <gasps> so we sold to future? Sarah, but you will pay is it why we are special, like our mother said? Because we can see future? You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? What the hell? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't, why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you okay are you sure yes I'm sorry I'm sure yes fine so I I think we just saw future for some reason because she I like to find mother quickly touched us or something am I going crazier oh we can or go what actually. this can't be real the, the Duchess arrived with me to me I actually thought we never were gonna like walk or absolutely need to find anything. your mother. Like in, oh, we actually can sprint as well. Nice. Well, that was a lot of gameplay. Lily, during the trip, <laughs> I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess. I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, I, whoa, is it a class also? Oh shit. A uh, diplomat. Uh, the diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker. He avoids Falk's pass and he can convince those with whom he's talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predile pre predilection, I guess. Oculist, and uh, the Oculist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts, using other to achieve, using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. All right, and detective, detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. Uh, hands on man, he doesn't shy away from the direct approach. Um, basic skills. I would. Uh, I, I like detective or diplomat actually. I'm a diplomat. We can like convince people like, well, it, it wasn't me. I didn't kill him. And they're like, okay, okay. But detective is kind of probably would be easier for us to see if someone is lying or like some small details that can help us. So let's go detective. Oh, so we have skills and levels as well. Hmm. So is that some kind of RPG? I wasn't expecting that at all. All right, detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you one skill points in convention. Your past granted you one skill points in manipulation. All right. So this is manipulation. I see. And convention okay so we can only put our skills into that right oh wait we could put it in here huh hmm all right so what's that logic use your logical mind and orientation talents unlock dialogue options and actions four points left before level two so oh I see so those all of those are at level one already and all of those are locked so we need to put two points to unlock this, right? I see, unlocked, okay. So now we unlock this one, all right. One, one available point. Uh, so we have three, we can't even uh, max this one, but we can 
All right, all right. I see, I see. I see what works. Convince people uh, with the sheer force of your will and your attitude. I don't really want to convince that way. Maybe. Translate all kind of documents. Noticed and not worth the details or oddly placed elements. You know, we're gonna go for manipulation. Because it's gonna be handy in this game, I think. And then we we'll, let's go for... Uh, oh, people behavior. That is actually good. Use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Notice anything strange is in someone's behavior or appearance. Mm. Vigilance or questioning, maybe, or psychology. Uh, let's go for psychology now. I think this is game about it, right? So, back, hold right click. Uh, validate, hold space. Ooh. Well, item added in your inventory. Over the last few years okay. I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Orger, for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Hmm, we kind of look like How detectives well. <laughs> I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. Mm, I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Emily. That's easier. Tell me. I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Oh, so... Uh, not at all, so lie to her. Uh, I just gonna be honest because if we lie we're gonna probably say oh yeah you know I met you uh, up there and then she was like oh, I've never been up there so you know so it's better to please be excuse honest. me madam I'm sure we've met before but I don't remember where hmm. I appreciate your honesty even if it's not very flattering for me I imagine that with your beauty madam it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. I uh, yeah. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Lily. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. What detective, what detective are we if we don't even remember such things? Uh, your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Uh, opportunity, do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have unlocked it. Okay. Uh... All right. I, I don't ask know her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Oh, this is how it works. That's cool. Personality. Each person uh, you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploring their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Oh. So, shh, okay. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in journal tab menu. Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. All right, push space button to access your menu pages. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my... Wait, what? Is the map on space? Um. Uh, oh, this is us. So here is her. Immunity logic. She's immune to logic. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. But what is he... I'm sorry for interrupting, but what is she vulnerable to? It says to be discovered. But it, oh, right. it's okay. Nobody here knows Sarah de Viche. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Oh, so we do have visions, all right. 
talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to reveal their unlock conditions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Okay, in tab menu, talents. I, I can't put my mouse any higher than that. That's weird. Anyway, uh, what's that? Policing mystery. Okay. Oh, wait. Having the fake elements displayed during an opportunity. Reach level 3 in vigilance and level 2 in questioning and psychology. Oh, so the. Okay, I see what that is. I see. Archaeologist. Oh, so there is a quest as well. Oh, so th this is kind of RPG. Uh, you recover your effort points lost when you encounter an immunity. Oh, that would be cool. So I need questioning and vigilance to level 3. Okay. Oh, what's that? Jack all of trades. You gain 10 more experience at the end of, ev of the quest. I just need to reach level 1 in everything. That's... I'm not gonna do that. Um, all right all right but this one seems good like if we kind of encounter immunity which will <laughs> we're gonna do that pretty often and uh, so we can instead get our points back so question and vigilance all right we don't have any points now anyway so is there like anything we can loot do or something i don't know Sir, may I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Um, what do you know about my mother? Can you tell mother? me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. So she's and just what have you lost. found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, <laughs> lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. I see. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level is the lower the cost in the effort points. Browse your skills by using character stab. Okay. And did you oh, find anything I, then? I, I you discovered a certain I just amount typed. of damage I don't know. <laughs> on the wooden Accidentally part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrel. Oh, so we can just press space right away and see what vulnerabilities we found. Can we even see him? Oh, I see it. Vulnerability questioning. Oh, I see. So they are vulnerable to questioning. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. Hmm. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S. DR. SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. Maybe, maybe. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Oh, so now I have some options. Um logic manipulation would you kindly give me all right so we can use it because we unlocked the manipulation yeah pass me the handkerchief but but sir my orders were to give it <laughs> to my master 
Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Shit. Even though she was greatly looking forward. So we can actually see that he's also vulnerable to manipulation. Master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of Oh, he's her. so kind, Ben. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Thank you, dude. This is how we manipulate people. So we can see... Oh, we have handkerchiefs of two people now. I don't know why we would do that, but I was just... I don't know, it is try. indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? I see... You see this? Latin inscription. Hmm. Nessis. So we can Latin as well. We can't. <laughs> ah, shit. I could, I could read it, but I didn't understand. It. But she said that he found it uh, where we came from. We can't come back. Um, my character is stuck. Okay. Oh, you see? We can see small details now. Chest. Uh, you cannot carry more than five. Royal jelly restores two effort points. You can all right. So I found one of those, right? Royal jelly. Restore two effort points. Okay, I see. What's that? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. <laughs> We're gonna play a real detective. Must man. be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. We're gonna go around and. Take a look, you know. I just need to probably fix my sensitivity. Dude, what? It takes me like several times to rotate my mouse to look around. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Hmm. I will take it. This might just come in handy. <laughs> to hit someone with it, maybe. You never know. What's that? A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems okay. to have used it. I see it. something in here as well. What's that? Oh, another real jitter. So basically, we can fail more now with those jitters. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Okay. A lamp. Lantern. A lantern. Nothing special. Ooh. Should we read some uh, mail? Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Oh, clue. Ah. Let's find a clue. One of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, mother. But who dun, is dun, this dun. Samuel Ritter Doshua? SRD. It is I'll also SRD. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, mother? Hmm. Secrets, always more secrets. Okay, it is too much to secrets. anyone though. using language like this. Something's going on here. So now who we... Is Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this man of Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Man of Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Uh, I don't know. I don't know politics, man. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right, so... Looking for clues on your mouse. So we found a clue. Look for more clues or 
go to manor. Alright, so as I see, we used some... Didn't we get a point or something? We didn't, right? No. Traits. Detective's card. Huh. So that gave us a skill point. Alright, I see. But where did the music go from here? It was music. But it disappeared. <laughs> I don't know, it should be here. Anyway, let's see if we can see something else. Search for more. Oh, there is something. Oh, I see it. Collector's coin. What a hell is that? And I don't see it here. Where did it go? Wait, wait. When you collect four amber fragments, you gain one effort point. Amber fragments. Oh, here it is. Lost coins. And, all right. So this is basically a thing that. Uh, how do you say? Not Easter egg, really, but the thing that we have to search for and find, maybe. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Really? Sure about that? What's up in here? Me oh, is this? Oh, the barrel is from here. The one we found, maybe. Maybe not. Open the gate. Oh, open it though. I'll never get it open barehanded. I have this iron bar. Let's go. <laughs> Let's play a little detective Zeef. Come on. Clearly, I'm not much for manual what? labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Ah, uh, that shit. Oh wait. Force it open. Difficulty two. Agility one. Uh. So he wants to break it through. I don't think we can though. Mm. Agility. Wait, m probably. Wait, force it open. All right. Let's try again. Let's try it with a little bit more force. Let's go. It shouldn't be so hard. Oh yes. Here we are. Ooh, let's go. Easy, man. But hey, before we continue, let's use those thingies where they are. Uh, inventory. That give us. How do how do I use them? What? <laughs> Q maybe? No. Okay, probably gonna be used automatically later on. So why did we do that? I have no idea, but we can f see something. What's that? Royal jelly. This looks like a pistol case. Pistol case. But it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother. But if it does, at least now you're armed. Hmm. Just like in my vision. Oh yeah, exactly. Telling me anything useful. Exactly. She had a pistol in her vision. So that is vision of the future, man. Hmm. This wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Examine the broken barrel. Uh -huh. Let's go. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Oh, we are not it's scientists, so. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but. It's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find Amber fragment. Oh, we found one. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you will increase your maximum effort point by one. Oh, that's even better. Damn, deeper. mother. And quickly, too. So it was definitely worth it to get in here. But I don't see anything else we can interact with. Right. So let's just... Wait, something else? Where's the a wooden floorboard? Oh. Uh -huh. Vigilance. Questioning where it came from. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? Uh we can't do it anymore, eh? Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Choice already made. Oh, that's good that actually it says. So you know that it's not the different 
So other side of the wharf, but where is it though? And why is it here? I have no idea. But our mother has been here. Wait. I heard a sound. A Byzant. Collector coins. What? I mean, I, you just hear a sound. So you need to be really careful. So we have read that. Let's go upstairs. It's finally time. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? That's a good question, man. Face just already. Okay, that's okay. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Derice, aren't you? You see, yes, your mother I and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, but she did. I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Confrontations. During confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontationalists have cons consequences on the wrist. And the rest of the story so don't hesitate to use your skills and we kind of used up some of them uh, each connotation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking is convinced okay thank you my son i'll bear that in mind i'd rather deal with her directly don't take it personally would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet um uh, Yes, she has been here for several weeks now. Never mind. Give me your letter. Uh, I guess yes. Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. Yes. I shall see her tomorrow then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Professional secret story. We are members of the gold. Ah, uh, we can't say that. We can just give away. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion oh, yeah. and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person. And that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Oh uh, shit, we don't have level 3 skills? Or difficulties really? 
You can count on me. Yes, I'll give it to her if I find her. Yes, of course. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Oops. I shouldn't have said that. Let's not exaggerate. Shit. I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Um, last step. Uh, for the last step of confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until <laughs> either you give a right one or uh, you have no blunders left. Um, okay, so they, they force us. No thank you. <laughs> okay, no I worries. swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. <laughs> Good. Listen, let's stop it. I'm going to tell you a secret. Oh, trade unlocks. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. Oh. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Oh shit. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, oh, the so I spoke that of. is what is it all. includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Oh, then well we need played. to find her. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. <laughs> hidden elements. Many clues and other items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your an impact on your adventure. So do not hesitate to look for them. Uh, of course, we're detective. So we unlock the trait. What is that? Reliable. You obtained Peggy's letter. All right. You gain one skill point in manipulation. So talents. No wait. Character. Manipulation in this one. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. So we need to go around and search for a lot of clues. This is not a clue. This is escape. I mean, it should be. A lot of clues. For instance, this one. Yep. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Should I take the book? I can't leave it. <laughs> I can take, just take it. Um, manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Oh. So if I read it now, oh, I see. One skill in convention. But I, I don't know how to use items, man. Enter? No. F maybe? But I need to check it out. Because, I mean... What? They don't even say me... They don't even tell me that. How do I use the things? For instance, you know, if I check in my inventory, how do you start? See, I'm spamming it. Nothing happens. If I right click it, I quit it. If I click the mouse wheel, nothing happens. Space and enter just quits it. One, two, three, four doesn't work. WSD doesn't work. R doesn't work. F doesn't work. Q and E just switches those things. But I probably already got one skill in com conviction, right? I just don't need to read it. Conviction. Where is that? Is that right? Oh. So I did got. All right. So I don't so I don't need to read it. But that thing, I don't really those. 
Royal Jealous, how do we use them? I have no idea. Hmm. Probably it uses itself automatically. But I see some clues on the other side. I thought oh, my shit. chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President Ooh, so of it's the George United Washington. States of America. Ooh. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that exactly. I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet, and you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect exactly. place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Uh, about my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, <laughs> or even nope. money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Uh, just because. Invent something. Like Le you, Mr. Let's President. Lie. I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Oh, I don't know if I can trust him. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must hmm. really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Yep. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed oh, our host, meant. Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, kinda... and he sends his Confused. deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. <laughs> and I want to stay as well. <laughs> and you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Let's just stay. I think we should stay and talk about our mother, actually. Let's see what Washington has to say. 
Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. <laughs> so he just walked with one man. Well, Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. Mm, I, I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. Exactly. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Let's ask him, uh, where does Emily know my mother from? Tell me more about uh, this Mortmai. Uh, well, let's ask and about you, my mother Emily. first. What do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Hmm. Uh, when did he see her last When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia, 15 years ago. Sarah often years? went back and forth between France and the United States. That's a long yes, time. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Or the mysteries that surround My us. mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Um, and what if Mother has left the island? Do the other in the Order Snow, do you think? Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Well, I'm gonna find for clues. Don't worry. Search for clues. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. I mean, she's alive in our future. Careful, they're coming back. Who is that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem so to be intrigued joke, by man. that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, hmm. who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? 
Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like hmm. he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder hmm. if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. I think he's polite. On that actually. Note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Whoa. So what's about the previous room we need to find clues ladies gentlemen I bid you all good night mr. president your eminence duchess you have the same rooms as usual you monsieur de Richet will find your room at the end of the corridor thank you well my friends I am bone tired I am off to my bed see you in the morning good night sir I shall do likewise Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Well, we are actually gonna find a room in the next part. I, I actually want to go around and check for clues as well before I go to sleep. But I'm gonna do that in the next episode. So leave a like if you enjoyed this one. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.